National Youth Council that uh, spoke, they said that uh, they were interested in, in, in regards to the Youth Commission that those appointed ought to be youths. Uh, no, 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 uh, Aguko. The establishment of the Youth Commission in Chapter 15, mm. as proposed by the BBI document, yeah. gives four positions to the youth in that commission as commissioners. Mm. And uh, therefore, out of the seven, four are youths. You know in terms, you just hold on, in <coughs> terms of decision making, when you are going to pass a vote in the commission to mm. pass a policy or to pass an, a decision, then four will carry the day. Basically, it is the four that are running the commission. Mm. But Number you know, two. In, in the past, we've had um, people nominated or appointed to leadership positions that are for the youth and Kenyans have complained on social media that, that they are not That youths. is why this youth specific commission gives opportunity for the majority of the commissioners which is for to be youth. Okay? And okay. there's something that the president said and I just want to go back to it. What is it that we love as individuals and what we think that can be made better? I come from Punguza Mizigo, mm -hmm. a party that has is a promoter of the Constitution Amendment. And I have said in my introductory statement, which was my stand, that we are happy that the task force recognizes that Punguza Mizigo is a constitutional process with very good, workable, practicable propositions. One of them that Kenyans should be happy about, that is in both documents, is strengthening devolution. The incremental, today, Article 203, says that the equitable share shall be 15% of the national collection, at least 15%. In the amendment, it says it shall be at least 35% of the audited account. That means if Kenya collected 5 billion or 3 trillion today that is audited, mm. that money, 35% of it, shall go to the counties. And that's what it you like about the BBI. Exactly, and that's what we are saying as a party. <laughs> and to go <coughs> further, it says now, devolution beyond the county headquarters. Punguza Mizigo says the same. When you get to the county headquarters, now that money now shall be constitutionalized, a percentage which is five, to go to the ward level. And I said, the people of Kenya are in the ward level. And at the ward level, the money does not just end by devolution, development alone. It ensures that it provides for economic and social rights. These are human rights. Uh, what Kelly said, that some of the issues that will go for referendum are very few. If you ask me in this document, there mm -hmm. could be five. And you know why? It, issues to do with the commission uh, in Article 255, issues to do with the Bill of Rights, that issue of Article 43 that the president shall be giving a, pres a, a state of the nation address in parliament shall, must go to the referendum. The other one is the structure of parliament that now proposes a different arrangement and the executive that now creates the office of the prime minister and the two deputies and the position of leader of opposition. Wow. And therefore it means mm -hmm. all these things, the president and his, uh, and his government and the speakers of the, which were the leaders of the, uh, the houses, must now start what is policy and legislation. Nothing stops them. Then Kenyans can have a robust conversation about the issues that will go to the referendum that are of the benefit to the common man. And we've talked about it. I, I want us to take a look at this clip here. BBI. Lazima ikuwe ni conversation ya patriotism and not a conversation of 2022 politics or 2027 politics. And as the youth of this country, we've experienced the politicians who have mastered the art of conning, conniving, confusing, and taking advantage of our youth and cutting corners with their future. The report gives us a table on the seat by introducing a youth commission that will ensure our issues are mainstreamed and that we have serious engagement with government and other than state actors. Mm -hmm. That is about the, the, the Youth Commission. And um, in regards to that, you, I'll give you time to comment on that. I would also like to attach this to what the Deputy President had said. The last speaker mentioned something that started... That is yeah. <laughs> he started, <laughs> he started a lot of um, debate yesterday. The Deputy President said this, the real problem is about joblessness but now he created a star after 
commenting on the wheelbarrow issue, which he said, the wheelbarrow, yes, it is a 16th century tool, but he questioned why is it being used in the 20th century still in regards to youth? Julius. You see, the question should not actually be asked why it is being used in the 20th century. What should be the question? Because uh, ideally, it still has to be used in the 20th, 20th century because uh, it, it's a, it's a, there are certain jobs that a wheelbarrow can do that other implements cannot do. Mm -hmm. Now, but you see, the problem is that uh, I agree with that gentleman, save that I would not use the, 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 the exact words he used, but I agree with him huh. to the extent that politicians like weeping emotions. They like taking advantage of the unfortunate situations of a, of, of, of a cluster of, of, of the society and to use it as against the rest of the society. They like to come out as though they are the ones who feel for what the society mm. really feels than the others. Mm. So that uh, the question is, I agree with him, with, with the DP, the question is joblessness. That's why uh, uh, it's donating uh, wheelbarrows. But can wheelbarrows really sort out the problem of joblessness? My answer is no. No, you believe it cannot. It cannot. Yet still people are receiving it on the ground. <laughs> well, because freebies, people would always go for freebies. <laughs> you, you, you know, Ram, eh? Why are they receiving it? Okay. Ram, yes. we agree as a party and as Kenyans that the biggest challenge that this country is facing is economic challenge. And economic challenge come with underemployment mm -hmm. or joblessness. And that is it. And the casualties are the young people, majority of them, 72%. Now, okay. if I can answer that question, mm -hmm. why are people still using a single wheeled machine while it is an inventory of the 16th century and we're in the 21st century? Is because this country, the rate of corruption in this country has denied majority of the Kenyans opportunity to advance to technological uh, sphere where they can now start adopting the new technology. Because money is there, but that money has been stolen. And if you read the BBI report, it also sorts that big cancer of corruption. And it says we must amend the chapter 6, leadership and integrity, mm. so that we ensure that the investigation, prosecution, and trial of economic crimes, aka corruption, mm. are done in a shorter period of at least not more than two years. We propose six, but they're saying if you combine the three, prosecution, trial, and investigation, two years. Now, I would, like, I, I, I would like to, to, to remain on you, Okamo. Okay, okay. Um, you, you, you've, you've been mentioning the Punguza Mizigo. Correct. Um, initiative correct and uh, you've been giving it reference to the bbi correct um what happens to the punguza mizigo now that we are here you are supporting the bbi what happens to punguza mizigo aguko i started by saying mm -hmm. i am talking about the national conversation yes on 10th march 2020 we appeared <coughs> before the steering committee for validation and we did present 15 issues out of the 15 issues, nine of them have been adopted in the BBI report. Issues from the Punguza Mzigo. Punguza Mzigo. So uh, should, now, shouldn't you combine Just hold two? on. The reason why I'm speaking with a lot of passion is because those nine issues previously were endorsed by 1.2 million Kenyans. And that is a surety that these 1.2 million Kenyans are confident that these issues can be sorted in either way. Now, you have asked a question. Today in our press conference, mm -hmm. where your media came and covered, I yes. did say in my mm -hmm. statement and mm -hmm. in the statement for the neck mm -hmm. that now that is a national conversation, and we hope that in the national conversation, we can revisit some of the issues that Kenya would want to see sorted. Remember, this document is not a final document. It is a final document as a report. But in terms of constitutional amendment, this document will now be again revised to ensure processes. that what mm -hmm. are we going to have in the amendment. The constitutional amendment bill 2020 that is here covers everything. But almost all those issues, some of them will be legislative. Now, what next for Punguza Mizigo? The Punguza Mizigo process is open. People are giving ideas, and we hope that the national conversation that is happening, the BBI shall ensure that the national conversation is a national conversation that brings everyone on board. 
leave no one behind because this constitutional amendment is for the people of Kenya and by the people of Kenya. But still, we do believe but that it's going to happen. But still, you've not answered the question what happens to Punguza Mizigo. Yes, you are, we are having a I've national. I've said it is ongoing. It's ongoing. Correct. Parallel to BBI. It's not going parallel to BBI. Uh -huh. The people of Kenya are saying that we want to see a constitution okay. that is all amended right. by the people of Kenya. All right, all right. Remember, yeah. we submitted before BBI, uh -huh. and BBI has accommodated us. We are asking them, now that we agree, we are partners, how do we ensure that the remaining issues can also be canvassed? This is a partnership. Aguko, when somebody takes a goat that resembles yours, or a goat that is actually yours, and puts it in your homestead, or in his homestead. Do you sit there and say, you just take that goat and go keep it? You say, <laughs> let's give the goat okay. food. Let, let,